Hello. So after beating my head around for uh, you know about one day trying to figure out okay how to get uh, USMD to work on uh, my uh, system. Okay, I have it finally um, running, and it has been about a week. Um, okay, since I installed it. Now um, I was one of those unlucky ones. Okay, where uh, after downloading uh, Yosemite, okay, to the uh, to the applications folder, if you use um, Tony Max Unibeast, uh, you know, it actually said that um, the file is corrupt or something and cannot be used to install. Uh, but I use the same thing to install uh, Yosemite on my dad's Mac, so I know that everything worked fine. So um, I had to use the um, the Clover way of uh, you know installing uh, Yosemite, okay, which was to um, extract the the DMG file and then putting on to the um, to the USB and uh, then uh, copying the um, the packages file the folder over and you know, and all that stuff. So um, well, I did that and uh, well, I have a GTX 560 and I think. Um, uh, Yosemite, okay, at the time of release, okay, wasn't supporting GTS 560, so uh, it w it won't even uh, boot, uh, you know, uh, show up the boot screen. Um, I mean, in the sense that it'll it'll show the it'll show the drives, but it will, uh, you know, it'll start and then it'll restart because or uh, it well it never is to restart. Sorry, I mean, the display is to shut off. Okay, uh, and the system needs to be running and I, I was not able to see anything on the screen. So I had to eventually go into the system's um, you know, uh, library folder and then delete um, all the NVIDIA uh, you know, uh, texts and then it, it would start. Um, so I had it finally started and uh, so this is the USB okay, that actually has the um, well, this has the Mavericks installed. Um, I'll tell you why later why to do that. Uh, this one actually has the um, the Yosemite uh, okay, installed in it. So you will see um, in the system library folder the the text for NVIDIA has been deleted. Uh, so after that, okay, I was able to install. I mean, since the GPU was not running, okay, it was a bit laggy, but uh, it was able to install it. But then uh, when I tried to boot it, okay, with the same USB. Uh, it will, I mean, it will, uh, after, you know, uh, signing in and, you know, pressing enter, it will just get stuck and it won't, you know, boot ahead. So, um, I had to, um, well, thankfully, okay, I had actually installed or, uh, you know, downloaded Maverick onto my dad system. So, uh, then on the Unibe, it's okay, instead of loading um, Yosemite, I actually loaded um, Maverick. So, that is why I have mavericks on the system uh, but fortunately okay uh, now for installation okay i would have to use this uh, this pen drive okay for installing the um, you know the the yosemite operating system and for booting okay i would have to use the the unibe okay which actually has mavericks inside of it you know um, for it to boot properly uh, well actually uh, well, the problem still persisted. It booted properly, but uh, you know, uh, GTS 560 is still not, um, you know, uh, no, what do you call that? Uh, uh, I'm looking for words here. Um, it's still not compatible. Yes, that's the word. It's still not compatible. So um, there was um, uh, the, there is a driver okay released by Nvidia uh, for you know uh, Yosemite. Um, it, it is a web driver. Uh, which is what I'm actually using. Um, so uh, whenever I boot, okay, I have to type in, okay, NVIDIA underscore DRV is equal to one so that it doesn't use the uh, the regular, okay, driver for, um, uh, for you know, um, uh, for NVIDIA, but it actually use this, the web driver instead. Um, and I'll probably show that to you by, you know, um, when I boot it right now. So although it says uh, right now that it is using uh, OXX default graphics driver, it is actually not. It is actually using the NVIDIA web driver. I don't know why it is saying that. Um, there is actually a new updated driver, okay, which I, I did get an intimation saying that it is available for download, but I didn't want to, I mean, now the system is actually working pretty fine. The display is working fine. I didn't want to mess it up. 
uh, you know break or break anything so that is why i just um didn't didn't want to up upload so that's why it says that you know whatever 343.01.01 f0 to available uh but still the current one is just 01.01 .01, okay i don't want to mess with it right now probably won't be messing it for the next one year <laughs> okay um j uh, no, I, I, because i don't want to break my system because i use it for um, you know certain purposes uh for my regular use actually so well yeah yeah just ignore this i don't know why it says this so anyway so that is that so um well it has been what five minutes and i'm still talking so uh, let me uh, shut down the system and i'll, I'll restart um and i'll you know show you uh, uh how it actually boots and it actually uses the the web os driver to you know um, to run it oh so i don't have my pen drive plugged in and if you've seen my other videos you you'll know that why i actually use my pen drive to boot um, uh, OS X. I mean, basically because if I install the um, uh, the uh, you know, Clover or any bootloader onto the drive, okay, for some reason it doesn't boot from the from the drive. So I had to use an USB, and the USB actually boots first, and then I had to select the drive. It is a long process, but hey, you know, I'm I'm using a hacking door, so you know, bigger's really can't be choosers. So I'm quite happy with it. Um, and also if you have seen my other videos you've seen that I've been using this from the past four years so oh yeah so another year another operating system okay uh, by, by Apple so probably I'll have another video after you know after about a year uh, okay showing you the next operating system okay whatever monument okay they name it after Okay, so so yeah, so this is the the pen drive. This is the Maverick 9.5. Okay, uh, so that is that. So this is what is currently. Uh, I already I still have my my Maverick uh, installed in another partition. Uh, so you know, and uh, this is the Yosemite partition. Okay, that I have. So now um, I'll actually uh, type in the code. I'll use a uh, dash v so that you can see the verbose. And then I have to type in NVDA, you know, underscore, um, I think, oh shit, I forgot. Uh, I think it's DRV is equal to one. Okay. And then I have to click enter. So at one instance, you will actually see it's a uh, NVIDIA driver. It will say web uh, instead of official. So if it boots an official, you know that it is actually booting the official one, not the, the web one. It can do that if you, for instance, okay, type the um, the, the, the nvidia.drv, okay, if you, if you type it incorrectly, okay, say it is equal to zero or something, okay, then it will actually do, it will boot the, the official uh, driver instead of the, um, the test driver, I guess. Um, so if I, if I, I mean, instead of, um, you know, um, it having, you know, Maverick inside of it, if I was able to, um, you know, install uh, Yosemite on it directly, I don't think I will be having this problem. And, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I would have wasted at least a, at least a day. Um, but there are other guys who I guess who are actually having problem with the, um, oh, what was that all about? So it did say, okay, NVIDIA startup web. So, so that's good. Right? Um, yeah, so there were some guys who were actually saying that um, even though they used Unibees, okay, the monitor would shut off. So I guess you would ha have to eventually delete all the, you know, NVDA uh, files, okay, in the system library folder. Uh, don't be afraid of that, okay, just make sure you have a copy of it and you would have, you would need um, another uh, Mac system to actually uh, do this. Uh, so if you can get a Mac system, okay, do that and delete all the um, the NVIDIA drives and at least we'll have uh, you know it booting and once it it boots and you know uh, you just have to install the uh, the NVIDIA web driver so I'll put in my secret password here and press enter to go ahead so and then uh, you'll have it you know booting without without much problem in fact any problem at all I mean I was, till now I have not uh, faced any like hang-ups or freezes or anything I mean, it has been working 
pretty fine okay i use the dg33 fb motherboard and the last three four operating systems that i've actually installed like you know mountain mountain lion and then maverick i really have not faced any problem this is the first time okay where uh, i faced a problem where uh, you know uh, the monitor was actually shutting off and i didn't i couldn't even see okay what the debug information was if that was one so the best way you know to get around that is just delete the the nvidia driver so that it just loads up the the default driver at least you can you know install it and then once it installs you can you know uh, put in the uh, the drivers and you know everything will work fine so so here it is okay everything in full glory um i have some work to do so um, some word and powerpoint presentations to be made so i have installed uh, word and powerpoint um, i didn't i didn't install pages but i don't use it all that much um, um, since i'm a developer okay i have uh, xcode 6.1 installed and it just works absolutely fine i have my one drive um what else um uh, yeah i'm blender and you know my and stuff like that which works like absolutely perfectly if i haven't if i didn't do um, nvidia okay drv1 okay if i'd use the original one it will um do i have time i uh, probably i'll show that also so that you can see well i, I guess you understand i mean it is just it is just like everything will take about like a minute to open this won't be as spiffy as it is right now you know on the launch pad um oh yeah one thing that i'm actually having a problem with currently is my uh, android device okay i mean it would get det detected so if i if i, if I do um, you know um, about this mac and if i go to um, system report if i plug in my um, uh, my nexus 5 if I go into USB, I mean, right now it is not plugged in, but, you know, if I if I plug it in, it will definitely show it here saying that, you know, like it is showing the, uh, my mouse and the keyboard, it will show, uh, and store, uh, yeah, you know, that uh, the Nexus 5 is, you know, connected, but the, um, you know, this thing, this Android file uh, transfer doesn't open up and I don't know what to do. So if you guys have any clue as to how to get this thing started, okay, just let me know. Uh, that is the only problem that I have. I mean that's okay. I can develop uh, apps on Windows uh, if required. I can code it in Eclipse, and I, at least I can see it on the um, on the AVD on the virtual device. But I'm not able to see it on the um, I mean uh, on the on the actual device since it doesn't show up. Anyway, um, so. Um, that has been my, my struggle with uh, Mavericks and this has been a 13 minute video. So with that, um, I'll just uh, run this awesome scene kit demo. Okay. Um, yeah, this is scene kit project. It's a default project that comes with the uh, scene kit. I'll just load it and it'll uh, show up on the, on the iOS simulator. And uh, to show that, you know, the GPU works like absolutely fine. I've not installed any games. Um, I do have the Witcher for the Mac, the Witcher 2 for the Mac. And Maverick needs to stutter a bit. Um, but so I don't expect it. I don't expect it to perform too well in, um, in, in this machine because uh, I mean, the system specs are pretty much the same. So I guess it's a bit high end. I mean the game at least, not my system. So, so at least this works and this is good enough for me, for my development work. Um, so there you go. I mean, so thanks for watching and um, uh, I leave a you know link to the uh, the web driver okay in the description like under uh, under the like button so if you want to you know like subscribe you know go ahead all right thanks very much for watching bye see you next year.